How's it going, Trey? A lot of folks saw the production that you had in Arkansas when you come in. Obviously, you know Dowell very well and thinking that's your starting tight end right there. What do you think? Uh, I would I would think the same, maybe. Uh, I don't want to toot my own horn, but uh, um, Coach Loggs and I have a great connection, very special relationship. I'm just happy to be here and be around these great people, man, and excited to work. Hey, Trey. Um, keeping it with Coach Loggins a little bit, what's it been like for you to see him transition from, you know, your position coach now to an offensive coordinator role and just what kind of offense is he bringing to South Carolina? Um, we're definitely going to go uh, very fast, tempo, um, which I haven't played in his offense before, so <laughs> I can't really give you too much details. Um, but I just know that I loved having him as a position coach, man, very down-to-earth guy, um, great coach, knows what he's talking about and will tell you, and he's a great teacher. You know, some guys can't teach, but they know what they're talking about. Um, but he'll break it down, explain it to where you, you have to understand it. Like, it's too easy not to. Um, but I'm very excited, man. I just I love Coach Loggins and his family, and that's why I came here. You, I think Coach Stepp recruited you to Arkansas. I guess what's it been like kind of getting back here and, and rekindling that relationship after he came here to South Carolina? You know, Coach Stepp was a big reason uh, why I went to Arkansas. Um, I mean, he's a great man, too. Uh, and that's the common thing that goes on in this building is there's a bunch of great men and women here that love being here. And Coach Stepp, I mean, the first time I see him, we bear hugged each other, I mean, maybe for about 10 seconds. It's kind of weird, but, uh, you know, it was good. Uh, you know, I love his children, his family, his wife. Uh, I've known them for since I was 17 years old now. And, you know, you just can't beat the, the family-friendly atmosphere that we, we bring here and the love that I have for Coach Loggins and Coach Stepp. You mentioned the relationship with, with Justin Stepp. I mean, obviously, you come in as a tight end. How do you kind of f see your position kind of evolving over here at, at South Carolina in terms of what maybe they were asking you to do over at Arkansas? Um, I think I'll catch a lot more balls here. Um, I was a big blocker at Arkansas, which I don't mind. I mean, blocking's part of the game, and it helped me uh, for the long run. So I am appreciative of that. And, you know, I just – I think I'm going to be used in actual, you know, tight end role, catching more passes, you know, blocking downfield, blocking in the perimeter, but also getting involved in the pass game a lot. So. Uh, Trey, I know it's a different offense this year, but uh, have you been able to watch what, you know, Jaheim Bell was doing here and, and just the variety of ways they were using him in the backfield, wide receiver and – do you have some of that in your in your game as well as someone who with a wide receiver background? Uh, I definitely have seen uh, some tape of how they use Jaheim, and uh, I think I can do the same thing. Uh, I think I'm very versatile, um, and I think the coaching staff knows that as well. And so we're going to just do ways to get our playmakers uh, the ball in space. You know, make space, make people make tackles. Uh, that tight end room in general, you got you know, Josh here, you got Nick here. How has that dynamic been so far with kind of all you guys coming in starting starting new? Well, it's it's good for everybody because, you know, nobody has the, the sense of familiarity because the whole room is brand new. And so, um, you know, it's been exciting to go in there and actually meet these new guys. Josh and I have taken, you know, the leadership role of the room. And uh, I think that Nick will be a great – is a great addition to the room too. Um, you got a big body blocker and a receiver. And I'm just excited about our young guys as well. I mean, they work really, really hard. I mean – Two of them, three of them are supposed to be in high school right now. And to see them come in and do what they do is actually amazing because it's, it's not for everybody and it's not easy at all. If it was easy, everyone would do it. Trey, uh, obviously you mentioned you've seen some of uh, what South Carolina did last year uh, on tape. Uh, obviously with Arkansas, uh, you all played against South Carolina this past season. Um, watching them in that game and then just seeing you know, the way the, the rest of their season kind of turned out? Like, what stood out to you about, you know, how South Carolina kind of progressed over the course uh, of last definitely season? Definitely the, the togetherness, I would have to say. I think because we played you guys uh, week two, so the cohesiveness wasn't there, and you could tell. Um, but as the season progressed, it, it definitely picked up, and they figured out what they wanted to do on the offensive side of the ball, and they started scoring points at a, at a fast rate. And uh, I was excited to see that because, you know, that means you're trending in the right direction when the guys are together and they're willing to, you know, battle and fight. Uh, and that's why I really wanted to come here. 
with Coach Day's strength program, how would you describe that? And I don't know if you necessarily want to compare it to what you're used to, but but what's been totally what's different. Like? That's all I'm gonna say. Totally different. I mean, I haven't done anything like this ever in my life, but it's been fun, man. I, you know, testing testing my strength every day. It's just chasing after balls and stuff that you do as a little kid. But we we make it into workouts and. It hurts, but <laughs> it makes me better for it. So I'm, I'm very appreciative. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, we're getting through it and that we're all we're all getting better. Trey, I know that you haven't seen a Dowell Loggins system yet or what it might look like, but from an identity standpoint, what do you feel like Coach Loggins wants to instill from an identity standpoint with this offense? Uh, definitely hard-nosed team, you know, a team that knows what to do and knows how to do it and knows how to do it under pressure. Those are his big three things right there. And um, – if we can, you know, we're smart enough to do it, and we're going to go really fast and try to tire out defenses and, you know, just make plays when the ball's in the air. What, what stood out to you about uh, the, the quarterback, specifically Spencer Rattler and maybe, maybe Lenore Sellers too? Um, Spencer is a great leader, very vocal guy, uh, and the team looks up to him. And not selfish at all. You would think, you know, Spencer Rattler, this big name guy, would be you know the most selfish. No, very down to earth guy. Um, just I'm ready for him to throw me the ball. He can sling it, so I'm very excited. And then Lenore, some um, he might have the strongest arm I've ever seen. I mean, you f he flicks his wrist, it's going 60. And he's uh, he's also another smart guy. I think we our whole quarterback room is very talented. And, you know, Doty is a uh, very good too. Very down to earth guy. Um, I'm just ready. I'm just excited, man. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep saying that, but I just, I'm just very excited. All right, cool, because I'm starting to sweat up here. <laughs>